that one of my personal fortes is finding problems. Um, not finding fault, you know. I'm, I'm not about finding fault. I'm, I'm about trying to make things work. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to take over a city uh, and you showed me the plans, I think I could make it work. And with, with that in mind, I feel that bandwagons should be recalled because they are completely unsafe modes of getting from here to there. <coughs> the thing that's bothering me right now is it is, I'm sorry, um, this isn't a very popular opinion, but the, uh, the Occupy bandwagon. A bandwagon is a very dangerous thing to be on because, you know, you're on this, this vehicle of movement and uh, you don't really know who the driver is. Big worries about the situation at hand is something that I was freaking out about two years ago. Um, FEMA is the most powerful entity on the planet. Um, National Security Presidential Directive 51 is an option for the President at hand. Say a, a fight breaks out and it becomes big and people hear about it surprisingly quickly and riots begin. Um, there's your national emergency. About a year ago, I couldn't put sustainable in the title of anything without one of those troll spammer people um, freaking out about Agenda 21, you know, because the word sustainable uh, has been assaulted. Um, and, and I totally agree with, with the little spam comments about how the Agenda 21 thing is completely unsustainable um, and how it's a terrible, terrible idea, right? But, um, let's see, what's going on? Okay, my nutshell of Agenda 21, move all the people into big cities, you know, necessitating that cities need to import more resources, um, and the people will be easier to monitor and corral by the police. Okay, now what's going on with the Occupy movement? All the people go to the big cities, uh, import more resources, easier to round up and throw on cattle cars. This country's not above attacking itself. Um, like the Nazis did at, uh, what was it, Glywitz. And so, um, with self-preservation in mind, you know, I say, abandon all cities, ye who hope to live. I wish I could uh, just fall in and follow <laughs> the person behind me, you know, just run and run and run, but for some odd reason I see problems. I see dead people. <laughs> Historically, let's think about bandwagons. We Americans, we still have this false sense of entitlement that uh, a couple hundred years ago started the genocide of sustainably living people that's still going on to this very day. At this point in time, we blame it on bureaucracy and the Bureau of Indian Affairs and lobbyists and, and the government, but the genocide continues. I mean, uh, Native American indigenous children are being sold to people right now. Um, Americanized, you know, bleached. Um, assimilated because this system 
is the exact opposite of what they believe, what what indigenous peoples everywhere believe. You know that that we need to respect our land base, and you know if God wants us to live, we'll live. If not, we die. That happens. So the whole bandwagon mob mentality, herd mentality, whatever it is, isn't always a good thing. Um, because if there's one thing that this government learned from the Nazis, it's the power of propaganda. And, you know, you could, you could make a speech and when it shows up on the news, a couple couple sound clips and, and a loop will will portray the exact opposite of your message to everyone. And the news is truth. We all know that, you know, news equals truth. <laughs> I, I can't stand it. Uh, that's why I don't watch television. So, if, we, if we're the 99%, why don't we just ignore them? You know, 1%. Shit, just defend yourself on a, on a you know, when, when the need comes. And we don't have anything to worry about. Why don't we just get on with our lives? Be the change that you want to see. And, you know, if 99% of the people are doing that, <laughs> we got no problems. None. We're, we're cool as a cucumber. 99% <laughs> don't need the approval of 1%. What are you doing? Get out there and have fun. I don't believe that we have a 99% that is united. Um because people are addicted to money and they think that they need money to live and while they believe that cops are still going to go to work and they're still going to beat the shit out of innocent people because they're told that they need to